Okay, this is part two of loading the EA onto your charts. Uh, I've brought up the inputs tab uh, on the box that opens whenever you load the EA onto the charts the first time. Uh, and so we're going to go through these line by line so you understand uh, exactly uh, what each line means. And then there's a couple that uh, you don't really need to know that much about. A couple you definitely don't want to adjust at all, ever, and we'll go over that, uh, in fact, right here at the very beginning. Uh, you can see that it's uh, broken up into two parts. One is strategy setting, the other one is EA setting. Uh, we'll talk about strategy setting first. Uh, the first line is recognized comment. It says SY. Do not adjust that ever. Don't type it, don't change it, don't erase it, don't do anything to it. Leave it. Uh, it becomes very important later on uh, when we're actually placing the trades, and uh, we'll go into that when we actually uh, place a trade uh, on video. The num trade uh, line is for the number of overall trades that you are going to be placing. Now, the way this EA works is that you have to manually place your first trade. So if you're watching the charts and you get a signal and this appears to be one of those trades that you think is going to run for a while uh, and, and you know make some, some decent pips, you know, 20, 30, 40 pips, whatever, you will place that first trade. The EA will then automatically place pending trades uh, for the remaining number of trades that you have specified. Now here it specifies five trades. So if you place the first trade manually, the EA will then place four additional pending trades. If you change this number to seven, uh, you will place your first trade and the EA will place an additional six trades. So the number of trades that ultimately will appear on your screen will equal this number. If you want the EA to place five pending trades for you, you need to change this number to six because until you place that first manual trade, uh, the EA will not kick into gear. And uh, if you do change it to six, you place the first trade, it will then place five additional pending trades for you. Now, X pips between trade. This is where uh, you decide when you want to scale in and uh, how far apart from, from uh, each entry you want the, uh, the pending trades to be set. The default number here is 10, much like the default number on the num trade is 5, by the way. Uh, and you can change that. It goes from 1 to 10. Here on X pips between trade, you can put it to any setting that you want. Uh, you can set it one pip between uh, each trade, so as the price moves forward one pip, it will continue to fire in new trades. Uh, the default number is 10. Uh, personally, I like changing it to 5 because I use the 5 pip Rinko boxes under the advanced Rinko uh, trading method that we have. Uh, and I find that, uh, you know, five, I use 5 pip boxes, I want the trades 5 pips away, so every time a new box opens, essentially a new trade is, is uh, triggered. And uh, that's, that's why I have it set uh, personally for 5. But the default is 10, and that's fine. Statement color is yellow. Uh, what this means is when you load the, the, the EA onto a chart and you actually place your first trade and the pending trades are all set, there is going to be a line of text that appears on your chart that says, delete this uh, phrase or delete this sentence. I forget the exact wording on it delete this to close all trades and that means close all open trades not pending trades but to close all open trades and so this way if you are um, into several trades you're up you're up substantially let's say you've got four or five uh, pending trades that have triggered you still have maybe two or three more that are hovering around out there but you just decide you want to close everything out at one time bank all the pips that you've made on the trade you just go ahead and um, you, will, you will delete that that sentence and I will there'll be a video on how to do that so don't worry about how to do that right now but uh, the the line will appear in yellow text which shows up very nicely against the back uh, black background so uh, there's that anyway so that's that's it for the strategy setting okay you have a number of trades um, overall number of trades that you want to have set and then you have your number of pips between each entry basically or each trade now for the EA setting uh, let me go back here. You can see that. Uh, 
Maybe I can get this all to fit into one screen. Yeah, okay. First entry, magic number. Do not ever touch this number. Don't change it, don't adjust it, don't do anything. Leave it alone. I'm not even sure you can. I've never tried because I'm terrified if I open it up, I'm going to make a mistake and screw it up, and then i got to start over again. Uh, now, if you have an ECN broker, uh, a true ECN broker, uh, MB Trading would be a true ECN broker, for instance, you want to change this by double-clicking it and changing that to true. Okay, why? I honestly don't know. <laughs> he hasn't been able to explain to me why that is, but uh, apparently it has something to do with the processing of orders. And so uh, if you have an ECN broker, then you want to change that to true. Otherwise, leave it at false. Very important here. If you have a five-digit broker, you want to change that to true. Okay, and anybody that's been dealing with the Rinko charts with me knows the... Uh, the problems between using uh, uh, four-digit and, and five-digit brokers. Uh, if you use a standard four-digit setting on Rinko on a five-digit broker, you end up with like half-pip boxes. They freeze your charts up. They go all over the charts. You know, you never really can tell what's going on. So if you have a five-digit broker, change that to true and then leave it. Now, this, this will be essentially setting up the stop losses and the uh, profit targets for the pending orders. This will not affect the order that you place manually. If you, if you put in your manual order with the, uh, the, the stops and limits already preset, that's great, but the pending orders will all go off what you set up in the next four or five uh, boxes here. Okay. So if you're, let's say you're trading uh, five pip uh, Rinko boxes, much like I do, and you're looking for that first trade to take you out at plus 30. You just simply change the default setting, which is at 20. You change that to 30. You know, you just double click it. Eventually, the numbers will highlight. You can erase those, and you can type in, you know, whatever number you want. I've typed in 30. Uh, your stop loss pips, this defaults at 25. Uh, again, whatever stop loss you want, uh, Whatever, you're, whatever method you're using, this is what you want to type in. And that's what you'd want on each of your, this, will, this would be what is set on each of your pending orders as they are triggered as, as price hopefully is moving in your direction. Uh, in, the, in my case, what I do with what I, with what I am doing on those uh, uh, five pip Brinko boxes, I don't want much more than about a 12 pip stop loss. I mean, either if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm not gonna lose very much. Uh, trailing stop, you can either enable it or not enable it, it's your choice. Uh, the idea behind a trailing stop and uh, the method that we use this EA for is that as price uh, is continues to move in your direction, the first of your trades has moved into profit. And by moving your, uh, using a trailing stop, as long as price continues to move in your direction, the trailing stop will continue to lock in more and more and more profit as it goes along. Uh, ultimately, you're going to run into a situation where price stalls out, turns around, reverses, and starts coming back in your direction. Maybe it'll be slow. Maybe it'll be fast. You know, I mean, who who really knows? It, it just depends on the market conditions at the time. But by having these uh, stop losses trailing behind you, you at least know you've got profit locked in on your early trades. If you don't have the time to manually exit all of your trades and lock in, you know, the maximum amount of profit that was available uh, during your trade. If you don't want it uh, on. Just double click it, you get the drop down box, you change it to false. But like I said, I leave mine on as true. The trailing stop pips. This is where uh, the trailing stop will kick in. Um, as, if price moves up 10 pips, essentially it turns on the trailing stop and your stop is now moving uh, every time you move up a pip, uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whatever, uh, your trailing stop is now turned on and it's going to be following behind you. So uh, you may want to leave that number at 10. Uh, in my case, I actually leave it at 5 uh, with what I'm doing because I want the trailing stop to come on almost immediately. Uh, I want that, that stop moving uh, as price is moving. So if things turn around and go the wrong way uh, quickly, uh, I, I, I'm still, you know, my first trade, I'm not going to be down 10 or 15 pips. I'm going to be down like 7 or 8 pips. Uh, and on the second trade, you know, maybe I'm down the whole 10 or 12 or whatever. Uh, but I'm not down 10 or 12 pips on every single trade all the way down, uh, which would be, you know, could be catastrophic if you um, are using it, uh, the, the Rinko method that uh, I'm going to show you 
for it. If you haven't seen the video already, I'm going to show it to you here, you know, shortly. Uh, slippage. This, uh, you know, I'm all right with the five as the preset. You may want less slippage. You may want the orders to come in exactly where you need them, in which case you want to set it at one or two. Uh, the, the problem with setting too tight of a slippage, obviously, is if price is really moving quickly, um, it should be triggering these trades, you know, and you've all, we've all seen those trades where price just suddenly takes off like a maniac running in one direction. And within just, you know, the course of a minute or less, you've got a 20 or 30 or 40 pip move. Uh, with a large enough slippage uh, number, you should be getting a lot of your trades triggered. Uh, if your slippage is too tight, price could just sort of skip over your entry and not uh, trigger it. And, uh, you know, you're, you're out. That trade never triggers. You're not making any pips off of that trade. So, I mean, I leave mine at five. Five is, five is fine. And I haven't really seen any of those trades yet where it's, um, it's, it's been a problem. So, anyway, once you have all of these numbers set where you want them to, to, to be set, you just go ahead and you click the OK button, much as I showed you in the first video. Uh, once you've clicked OK, the auto scaler is on. As long as the Expert Advisors button right here has been pushed and is green, you see the little green uh, uh, button uh, on the guy with the funny blue hat. Uh, as long as that's on, you should see a smiley face on your chart and the word Autoscaler. If you see that, you're good to go. So that's it for this video. Uh, next video we'll make in this series is actually watching a live trade, and we'll have that one posted up shortly. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye.